What's up everybody, D'Angelo here, and we're gonna be going over how to build your landing pages for Craigslist as well as how to build your email list for Craigslist, you know, and all that fun stuff. Because right now, Craigslist is a complete gold mine right now. So you can make money on the front end as well as the back end, and we're gonna be going over basically all that fun stuff. So if you're in a different country, guys, literally the only thing you need to do to get you uh, a verified account is buy one from somebody in the United States or Canada or wherever else uh, Craigslist is. That's all you got to do. They have so many services. Google it. You'll find somebody to buy you an account or go to the Facebook groups or something, guys. You will find someone to uh, give you an account. You know, even if you got to pay them like 30, 40 bucks, just do it because, I mean, it's completely worth it. But um, so what you're going to need for this is your Builder IX account. So if you don't, you know, so this is the Builder IX right here, Builder IX account. So you're going to need this right here. I do recommend having the $10 plan for the email thing because the emails are you know, for like everything is going to, that's where your cost is really going to come in is for your email. So like, as you can see over here on, um, get response, like for me, this would be like, you know, just one of my email lists would be over $1,200 a month. And since I got my own over on echo leads or whatnot, I don't have to pay anything a month. So, you know, that's, um, you know, a huge difference right there versus $0 versus 1200 bucks. And that's just to have it on the site, right? That doesn't mean if I'm, testing out making sure the stuff works or if i'm losing it doesn't matter that's what they get no matter what all right so that's why i got all my uh well not all of them in this right here account right here but you know this is why i do all of my stuff on echo leads for my big list and then for the smaller list i've been moving everything over to uh the builder ix so for this right here again recommend having like the ten dollar plan and what else is there? I'm thinking that's all you're gonna need. If you're gonna go with Get Response, I recommend having at least the $50 a month plan because I mean that's kind of even if you have asked the Craigslist at this moment in time, you can still hit 5,000 emails, and I say about a good even if you just like half as like let's say a month, right? That's like a really long time for 5,000 emails or whatnot. You know this email list. That I built right here literally took like a month and a half, you know. But that was with Facebook ads, of course. So, I mean, Facebook, you can say a lot of shit about Facebook, but um, they 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 know what they're doing, you know. You can get some pretty cheap clicks on, I mean, some cheap emails over there. But um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna sign in. So you just make an account or whatnot. Uh, just go to the beginning of the page, you know. So you can sign up, make an account, click sign up, boom, you're done. And you're gonna get to a page that looks like this right here. Now, there's two types of, you know, pages. I recommend making an entire website about this, but 90% of people are lazy and they're not going to do that. So, you know, what you're going to do is just go to this very first one here. And, and so this is actually uh, one of the ones I've, I've used before, like made a crap ton of money with it. I recommend putting like some type of logo up here. That's what I did for mine. Just took it out, obviously, so that way you guys can just replace everything. So let's that, all right? So then whatever it is, so that again, we're just doing the making money online niche because that's literally really what nine out of 10 people are gonna do like for no reason. They're just gonna do to make money from online. So you like make two to $500 a day. I recommend lowering that like a lot, you know, uh, depending on what you're promoting. So like, let's say you're doing like an iPhone or an Amazon card or something like that, right? I guarantee, like, other than myself, I've never seen a single Amazon gift card page or anything like that that has a video of, like, someone actually receiving cards. No one does that, you know? Put in zero work. Like, I actually have videos, you know, uh, in Team D'Angelo that you can use to put on your, your landing pages here, you know, and just basically that's what you can use for your landing page. So, if, uh, I mean, like... Uh, win a free uh, $500 gift card, video below shows proof of people winning. Boom, something as simple as that. And then literally the people, you would have like, oh, I just received mine. And you know, the whole video is literally done for you. I'm just basically, you just copy and paste the URL in here. And um, so like you would just take your URL of that video and paste it right in here, right? So that's literally all you would do for for that right there and then you just send people to the landing page and the whole video is done for you but obviously if you're doing your own like an iphone one or something like that all you would have to do is literally you can go get a box if you got an iphone or you know someone with an iphone get someone like oh my god i can't believe this just came in the mail this really works 
there you go. Like, and then you put it right on the page. It can literally be like 30, 40 seconds. It doesn't even have to show your face in it, right? And then at the bottom, um, so like see what others have to say. So this is all built out for you, whatever. And then basically this is where your uh, Facebook uh, comments section is going to be at. So if you're not doing like um, this page right here, make sure you always come over here to comments and you get this Facebook comment thing. Like, I mean, guys, this... I, oh my god, I can't even like explain how much money I make solely just from people being able to comment on the page. Like that is like so powerful because it's just like a review right there. So as soon as they come down to the sign up page, you know, they're gonna see the, the comments and the comment section right there, like, oh my god, I can't believe this worked. Holy shit, this really works. Oh my god, you know, like holy crap, I just got this iPhone in the mail. Like, is this like I thought this was fake, but this turns out to be real. Right. All of that type of stuff, you can have it on there. Like you can, you know, even say this stuff yourself or whatever. But then if you do that, then you have to put it in your um, your terms that you're using fake um, comments and stuff like that. It's just, you know, just always recommend. I always recommend having your terms and, you know, all that type of stuff built up. If you're going to be on Facebook is I highly recommend it. I don't have it on this page right here. But basically, um, if I, I'll put it down below in the description or whatnot, probably at like the bottom of the description. But but it's this little thing that you have to put on all of your pages. We well, you don't have to, but I highly recommend it. So basically, you'll go down here and uh, put this at the footer or whatnot. And then you'll basically say something like, this website has no affiliation with Facebook, not promoted with Facebook. Um, you know, basically all of that stuff, even though like obviously you you know that it's not like affiliated with Facebook. But if you're running Facebook ads and they go there, they're just going to assume that that has to do with Facebook. You know, just something, something simple like that on the page can get your page approved versus denied. Like I've literally had the same landing page, you know, basically get denied and then I changed that and then put that at the bottom of the page and it just got approved just like that, you know. But I always recommend just having something similar like that on your page, whether you're using it for Google Ads, uh, Yahoo, Bing, whatever it is, the case, whatever the case may be, you know. Um, let's see. I'm thinking that's pretty much it for that. So, again, you know, so you just edit, put your video here, have your sign up button right there. And then, like this is literally like the, the simplest landing page you can get to. Like literally you just add, um, you just change your stuff out here. Boom. Change your video. And then... Um, and then that's all you would have to do. Like, literally, that's it. All right, so, boom, that's it. And then for, now, what I actually recommend is, you know, instead of just doing a landing page, like 99% of people get off your ass and create an entire website built around your service or product. Even if the offer pays out 50 cents, you go through and you build out an entire website around it, okay? Now, again, the more work you put in now, the more money you're going to make later. A lot, not, nine out of ten people are not going to do that. That's a fact. I already know that. Like, they're not going to do that, you know? That's like where the lazy marketers, you know, um, get through, uh, make it, and, you know, basically the other marketers don't. Because, I mean, this, um, this is serious stuff here, guys. Also, make sure you do for your language manager um like if you're going to be doing english and spanish or whatever wherever you're promoting that make sure you have this up here because it'll translate the page form automatically and then if they go to your page and like let's say they don't understand any of the words on there like they have to wait for google to pop up and if sometimes it don't pop up then that basically just left off your page so definitely make sure you do that it's really important um you know it's just going to make you more money so yeah for this one right here literally this is not on and i don't mean when i say uh do a whole like editing the whole thing. I don't mean you go right here and say click button below. Right? That's not editing the page. It's being lazy as fuck. Okay? So what you do is you literally go through and you edit everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. This is literally going to take your business from making two uh or two figures a day, three figures a day, whatever it is. This will literally take you to a neck to the next level just from getting off your ass and doing some work. Cause like I said, guys, literally nine out of 10 people 
will not create an entire website around an offer that pays out 50 cents. They just won't do it, right? Because they don't think like, oh, okay, you know, I can build the email list, make money on the back end. They don't think about how they, each page could be, you know, something different, but in the same niche. So if I was doing like a dog product or something like that, one page could be solely just on reviews, right? You have a bunch of reviews just on that one page and they all go to the Amazon affiliate. Another one could be um, how to get free dog stuff, right? And then the whole thing could just be a bunch of like little uh, sections about how they can get free stuff from this website and they really just be CPA offers, right? I mean, like there are so many ways you can make money just from, like people are going to the page, right? And then another huge tip is make sure that they all open in a new tab. That is super important. Right, because if you just have it where it says click button below, and then unless it's just like a straight up landing page that's a previous page or whatever, then that's perfectly cool. But if you like have ads or anything like that on the page, you want that to um, basically where they open it up into a new tab. So let's just give you an example here. So as you go down to the advanced, boom, external link, and then you know that's how I would do it for you. So that's just what I recommend. So that way it opens in a new tab, and then you always have them in a new page so if they come back to your page obviously because they got to close it out and then let's say you got a banner right here saying in the same niche you know like oh just got um so and so just won uh 100 in dog food for free right boom they click that then let's say you got a rotator going then now they see a different ad right so i'm like obviously there's like every single person is going to go through and do every single offer right but there's more chances for you to make money if you put in more work instead of being lazy and just making a two second landing page and then don't get me wrong again guys i'm not knocking anybody i've literally made you know hundreds of thousands of dollars just with like straight up single landing pages like i just recently started building out really big ass like websites and stuff like that built around the pages here so i already know the mistakes right like i know the mistake of just making a straight up landing page i would make way more money if i had built out an entire website you know and like I said before, I really recommend that you get the pro and not, you know, you got to upgrade to it or whatever, but then you're going to be able to um, put in your, your, um, your email list right here. I mean, not your email list, but the uh, email capture form. So then they'll be able to um, get onto your list and then you can literally message everybody right from in here in the email manager. So again, that's super positive, but I'm thinking that is pretty much it guys. Um, uh, oh, my bad. If you're um, doing your own like email list right here, you're gonna need to come down to utilities and you're gonna click script, right? So if you're doing like um, Echo Leads or um, you know what is it? Uh, Echo Leads, Get Response. I don't recommend Aweber. I mean Aweber. Ever since they started that um, thing where basically you can't have anyone go on your list without them from going to their email and confirming and this is a lot of extra shit for them to do now so that's i don't recommend it i recommend just going with get response or something like that if you're already using aweber by all means keep doing your thing um so then you would just do that right there then that's where you would paste in your widget at and then that's it and that's all you've got to do so Thinking that is it, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you got some comments, just drop them down. I mean, some questions, just drop them down below. And again, I know I always get to the end of the video, and then I know there's something I'm forgetting, but you know, hey, it is what it is. But you guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.